WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. A state trooper has been suspended in the wake of his actions during an arrest. It involves this video taken during a traffic stop last night with a driver suspected of operating while under the influence. State police investigators acknowledge this video appears to show the trooper striking the driver in the face while he's in handcuffs. The Saginaw County Prosecutor's Office announced this afternoon that state police have requested an independent investigation into this matter. Still unfolding, Owasso police say two missing and endangered children have been found in Ohio. Avery and Rosie Burford were taken from their home on the 100 block of North Washington Street around 715 this morning. Avery is three, Rosie is two. Owasso police are working with the Ohio State Police for their safe return. Investigators say surveillance video from a nearby business shows Jared Burford leaving the area carrying both children. We're told the girl's mom had just gotten a personal protection order against him on the 18th. And now here's Chris with a look at an expectedly messy morning commute. Chris? Meg, definitely expecting that. If you have plans later this evening, they should be just fine through about midnight. However, it's after that mark once we get into the overnight that things really start taking off. As for tonight, we've enjoyed a lot of sunshine for today, but the clouds will eventually take over and then the wet weather will follow a little bit later tonight. We do expect a prolonged stretch of wet weather. It becomes all rain after the mix on Wednesday afternoon, so we just have to get through the morning. But it's that morning commute that could be a little icy. Ice amounts between about a tenth to a quarter of an inch are possible. Some sleet and snow can mix in there at times as well. But we do expect freezing rain to be the primary form of precipitation. The Tri-Cities and Thumb expected to warm up above freezing by about 10 or 11 a.m. Northern counties by about 12. Your first horn five hour by hour forecast shows that as we go through tonight, again, we're dry through about midnight or so. Eventually, we start to see things approach our southwestern zones close to Isabella, Gratiot, and Shiawassee counties around midnight. It will overspread the rest of the region through the rest of the night, and that prolonged stretch of freezing rain will allow things to ice up pretty quickly. Once temperatures start to warm up from southwest to northeast, the freezing rain will eventually eliminate itself as well, and by lunchtime, pretty much everyone is done with it, and then we'll transition to just regular old rain during the afternoon. Ice amounts were all generally in the same boat between about a tenth to two tenths, except for Houghton Lake, which is under an ice storm warning, which could could bring totals just a little bit higher there. Eventually, we do warm up into the 40s and 50s for tomorrow. It may occur until the evening hours, but even as we warm up through the afternoon with temperatures this warm, we should be able to melt ice pretty efficiently. Your seven day forecast shows that we've got a warm start Thursday, but falling temperatures through the day. Friday, a few spotty snow showers before we start to warm up into the weekend and also dry out a bit. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.